and now expected to get death threats, you know, for making a movie. So I'm a director, I'm not a politician, I made a movie that has political themes. Going into it, I knew that there were themes that could, you know, resonate with today, but I didn't expect that the reaction would be as intense as it was. It's a fictional movie based on one of the most beloved books in Russia called The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. In the movie, there's like two worlds, a real world of uh, a writer being censored in the 1930s and then the fantastic award of kind of the book of the Master and Margot he, reader he's writing. So there's like two levels there that interplay. There's a scene where a writer's kicked out of the writer's union in the 1930s in Russia. His book is sort of discussed in these, these terminologies of like the heightened Soviet period. And today in 2024, critics of the movie on state Russian TV were calling for the same thing, for the movie to be banned, for a criminal case to be opened against the director, me, and you know, even the producers. And I don't know if they realized or not at that moment that they, they're using the same terminology almost as the characters in the movie. But on the one hand, there was, you know, it was quite scary, everything that was going on. I, because it wasn't, was never expected, I never expected to get death threats, you know, for making a movie and things like that. But on the other hand, I was kind of enjoying the irony of it because that, it sort of plays with Bulgakov's, you know, his way of fighting the censors in his time in the 1930s was through satire. But after the movie's release, uh, it had such a huge backlash from Russia's propagandists, the whole prop propaganda machine went against the movie and against me personally. You know, with the calls of criminal cases to be opened against me, it reaching all the state TV channels and even the state Duma, which is like the Congress, talking about the movie and about myself as a criminal, making this movie which is uh, anti-authoritarian, anti-censorship and anti-regime. It was very weird for us to see how the movie is becoming more and more relevant and more and more about today and not just a period piece. Like many other artists who have immigrated and spoken out against the war, there's these whole blacklists in Russia at the moment. Many of them have criminal cases against them. Uh, many of their works have been banned in Russia. There's theater plays that have been canceled. There's books that have been taken off bookshelves. It's, it's, it's scary times, you know, for, for anyone who's uh, vocal against the, the regime.